in my vector tutorial in this stage we are solving from exercise 13.2 and question number five six and seven we are trying to show you let's go first to the question number five it is written here the position vector of op is given which is we can write as a op position vector of p means it is op vector position vector of oq means the this is a vector oq given here oq 8a plus 20z the first question a it is written here pq so pq we can write oq minus op according to the position vector any vector you can write so let you write the vectors 8i plus 20z and minus op because op having with the minus sign so we need to write with the plus sign plus 2i plus 4z so 8i plus 2i you can write 10i and 10i plus another part is 20 plus 4 is 24z and this is our vector in this question let you go for the question number b it is written here find pq and the vertical line beside it is the sign of modulus and the common part of the question we are going to find out the length of this question we can say which is actually square root of the coefficient of i and j so let you write 10 square plus 24 square this is the part you may use calculator to do this let me use calculator to do this root over we can write root 10 square plus 24 square 10 square mm, then plus 24 square and by after pressing equals we got 26 from there this is our modulus of this question now the next question find the unit vector in the direction of pq unit vector actually it's easy thing if we divide with the vector pq with their modulus this is called the unit vector let me do that this is called the unit vector so our pq vector is here 10i 10i plus 24z and modulus is 26 so we can leave our answer here also you can write it better best practice is it is right in the smallest fraction and with the individual i and j so 24 by 26 j so finally you can write so we also can cut out the values with the 2 5 by 13 and if we cut out this is gives us 12 by 13 so our final answer is 5 by 13 i plus 12 by 13 z and that's the answer of this question property of the unit vector actually if we make modulus a gain of this unit vector then we would get from there one this is the property of the unit vector now next question find the position vector of am the midpoint of pq this is we also can apply the formula to do that question uh, let me draw a simple diagram say this is the pq pq and m is the midpoint and say this is the this is the position vector of o so we can go literally there are a lot of ways we can do that by writing the midpoint position vector of n means they are asking to find out the om so to get the om we can do several method here op plus pm we can write and pm half of the pq another way we also can do it oq plus qm and qm replaceable by half of qp that is the two way but we also can apply if that is a midpoint m is the midpoint of pq what the shortcut method i am applying this is the formula half of op plus oq if we know the midpoint then we can write directly half of op plus oq you would get the same answer so let me put our vector now half of op vector is op is minus 2i minus 4z then the other part is plus 8i plus 20z so this is half into 6i then plus 16z so if you multiply with the half then literally becomes 3i plus 8z
this is the quickest method to do that you also can apply the method of say OM I'm writing with a different color you also can write say might you are thinking like this OM you also can write say OP plus PM yeah then OP plus PM you can replace by half of PQ then just put the value of PQ we already have the value of PQ 10i plus 24j and if we add with the OP then you would get the same answer OP is given here say minus 2i minus 4j then plus half of PQ it is 10i plus 24j okay so minus 2i minus 4j let me check then it is 5i plus 12z so finally you can write 3i plus 8z so same answer you would get from there question, question number 6 we are going to solve from exercise 13.2 it is written here relative to a origin o position vector a is given it means o a vector is given and another one position vector of b given but there is a constant in vector b which is lambda unit vector of a b is written here so find the value, uh, value of lambda so what we have to do we can find out the unit vector in that stage then we can compare with the unit vector we, or we can find out the find value of b from here let me do it question number six first let me write the unit vector position vector of a b what the position vector of a b a b position vector we can write say o b minus o a o b minus o a so our position vector is a o b minus o a we can write uh, o b is lambda i plus 2 z and another part is minus lambda i plus 2 z so O B minus O A O A is minus 4 I plus 2 Z this is we can write if I take I common then that it will be lambda minus 4 um, plus 2 Z plus 2 Z you can write 4 Z from here so this is our vector A B but another vector union vector of A B is given also this by making a b as a unit vector we also can do it or another way to do that actually we also can do that a b and vector a b and unit vector both are parallel or one lies on another one so by equating the coefficient we also can do we also can do that say coefficient of i is here lambda minus 4 and coefficient of i of the unit vector which is 0 0.3 given let me write that and equals we can write 4 divided by 0 0.4 coefficient of z on the right side first part this is the part coefficient of i ratio of the coefficient of i second part is the coefficient of z this way we also can do that so let me cross multiply now point you can cut out from there so it gives us 4 into lambda 4 lambda minus 4 for the 16 then 3 into 4 3 for the 3 for the 12 we can write because we cut out point from the below part so it turns to 4 lambda equals to 16 plus 12 which gives us 28 so lambda we would get from there 28 by 4 which gives us 7 this is our answer of this question now let's move to the question number 7 last question in this stage Question number seven it is written here position vector is given as a column vector form this is actually you can write as a way vector way and another vector b is given 10 minus 11 this is the vector of op the first question find out the ab it's easy ab we know before we did the question number five and six as well ab actually ob minus OA. let me put our column vector and this is the quick method OB is 10 and minus 11 given minus OA vector is 
minus 10 and 10 written there so we needed to subtract which is 10 plus 10 on the top and the bottom it is minus 11 minus 10 so let me write the total thing and the top part it is 20 and the bottom part is minus 11 minus 10 which is minus 21 so this is our vector a b in the form of column vector we, because the a position vector of a is given column vector we have done our vector as a column vector form the next question is abc lie on a straight line such that ac equals to 2ab find the position vector of c to do the question number b best way to write this vector equation ac equals to 2ab now break down in terms of position vector oc minus oa equals to 2 into ob minus oa again we can write like this because we know if we break down a b we would get from there ob minus oa so our target is to get the oc vector so we can write easily oc equals to take oa on the right side oa plus 2 of ob minus oa actually oa minus ob we do not need to write we already have the vector ob minus oa so oa vector is minus 10 minus 10 10 plus 2 into we already have the AB vector which is which you can write 20 by minus 21 20 divided by minus 2 we use the from a answer AB vector so we do not need to break down on the right side let me write it penalize so which is minus 10 plus 10 again uh, minus 10 plus 20 extremely sorry we needed to add this one plus 2 into 2 into 20 is 40 we would get from there then the below one is 10 plus 10 minus because it's a sign is minus given 10 minus 10 minus minus 42 because 4 into 2 to the 4 to the 2 yeah so final answer is 40 minus 10 is 30 and 10 minus 42 which is minus 32 and this is the position vector of c it is written here position vector of c so it means we are going to find out the oc and we already have done oc and this is our answer of oc thanks for watching you may see my other tutorials from this exercise in next time i mean in next tutorial